Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So you know that I grow my potatoes in wood chips and today what I'm going to talk to you about is why I use wood chips to grow potatoes. So this is my big pile of wood chips and I collect wood chips anytime I get the opportunity. So anytime uh, I can get my hands on wood chips or I can make wood chips with my little chipper then I'm making wood chips and I'm stacking them up and I'm, and I'm saving them for when I can't get my hands on them because they're, for me they're absolutely essential for the way I garden. I'm going to explain to you some of the ways that I garden with wood chips in this video but mainly I'm going to focus on potatoes. So the type of wood chips that I'm talking about are arborist wood chips or tree surgeon wood chips and these are made up of generally quite small branches. I mean generally they're going to be smaller than that or maybe not much bigger than that. They're going to be mixed in with a lot of green matter, a lot of leaves, they're going to be mixed in with a lot of green matter that's already in this kind of branch and they're going to make for a perfect mulch and a perfect garden amendment. So let's go and have a look at why, how I make my wood chip bed and how I grow my potatoes. So the first thing that we add is a layer of compost and I've got cover crops growing on this bed and I'm just going to chuck my compost over the top of these cover crops and it's all going to break down and add food for my potatoes. Now I grow my potatoes in a five-year cycle. I work my way around my garden on a five-year cycle and the potatoes form uh, the first year of my crop rotation method. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to spread this compost out all over this garden bed. I'm not worried about these cover crops. These are all going to just break down as I stack the wood chips over the top. So I'm not even I'm not even bothering to hold the wood chip hold the cover crops off or anything like that. I mean it had mustard. There's a lot of mustard stalks on here. These are mustard stalks that I've just pulled up. And this is winter rye that's coming up. So there's my compost down now. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just stack loads and loads of wood chips over the top of this. Let's go and collect some wood chips. So these wood chips are broken down a little bit, but they're still quite a lot of it is still quite fresh and you can do this exact same thing that I'm doing with fresh wood chips it doesn't matter whether they're broken down or fresh I mean when I started off with this method uh, and when I start when I don't have a stack of wood chips like this to collect I do use fresh wood chips and I've shown you uh, how, I, how you can do that in my previous wood videos about growing potatoes in wood chips you can see the fungal life that's growing in this wood chip I don't this is one of the reasons and you can see the worm life look at that beautiful they're everywhere now I've held a belief for many years that you need a good balance of fungal life and bacterial life in a garden context not just in a forest context I mean a lot of people will argue that you need a fungal dominated compost in a forest context and you need a bacterial dominated compost in a garden context but for me, I think you need a good balance of both and you need to be interplanting both. I think you need a good balance of trees and shrubs as well as um, annuals in your garden. Now this wood chip, some of it's quite well broken down, others are, others are quite fresh. You can see that yellow stuff, the, the lighter colour material is quite fresh. I just stack them on this pile as and when I get them. I don't really mind how broken down it is for the purposes that I'm using it. So let's get this over to my garden. I found a ladybug on my dad's shoulder. <laughs> and has it flown away now? Yeah. Okay. It has 18 spots. Okay, so the first reason that I like using wood chips is because they're an absolutely free resource. Tree surgeons have to pay to get them away. Often they can end up in landfill or they can end up in places that they're not supposed to end up in. If we take them off their hands, then we're providing a service to the tree surgeons, giving them a free place to dump them and the benefit in us. That's reason number one. They're a free resource and we're benefiting the environment by doing it. So you can see the amount of wood chips that I've put onto this bed. There's five wheelbarrow loads. And what I'm doing now is I'm just going to spread them out. Yes! Well, now, now we can keep them all. And this is why I didn't bother hoeing off any of the rye grass that was growing underneath because this amount of mulch will kill anything that's growing underneath. The way I'm making my wood chip bed is I'm just making like a chocolate bar shape. So this is a raised bed on top of a raised bed. So the second reason that I like using wood chips to grow my potatoes is that once you've got your bed set up there's no digging involved. 
there's no there's no disturbing the soil so you're not damaging the environment you're not damaging soil life you're not disturbing fungal life in the soil you're not disturbing macro life in the soil like worms and things like that you're not causing the soil to be oxidized what you're actually going to end up doing is you're going to end up building organic matter and you're going to be able to end up building soil so that's reason number two for me growing my potatoes in wood chips so here's another wheelbarrow load of wood chips that are on and there we go that's my potato bed made and i'm ready to start planting so the only work that it's involved so far is bringing the wood chips over and getting them laid out. Personally, I think that's a much easier job than digging the soil. This is what I mean. If you want to, you could just use buckets and carry the wood chips over in buckets and it's just as effective. This is reason number three that I like using wood chips to grow my potatoes is when I'm, when I'm doing this, all I'm doing is I'm using my hands to find the layer of soil. Why are you using your hands? Just, just digging down to the layer of soil and then I'm planting my potato right into there. So it's not a hard work at all. So I'm just using my hands to make a hole. And when I'm making... <clears throat> yeah, here, come on, you put one in here. Drop it in, drop it in, that's it. So that's reason number three that I like growing my potatoes in wood chips is because it's just so easy to plant. Go on, Zaki, now, drop. There you go, and we're done. I mean, it's a fun thing to do as well with the kids where you just make a hole like this and the kids come and do the work. So it's a good family activity. Yeah, watch out. I mean, this side of wood chips, these wood chips are just stuff that I've made myself with my little shredder. So all I've done with this is my neighbor dropped off some tree shreddings, some tree prudings, and I've just chipped them up with my little shredder. It's a little electric one, and it does the job for me just fine. Yeah, okay, let me make another hole for you. So you've seen the kids walking on this bed, and that's reason number four. When I'm walking on a bed like this, the use of wood chips means that this bed's never gonna compact. Because of the structure of wood chips, they're big bits, little bits, tiny bits, and they're all breaking down at different rates. This bed's not gonna compact. So I can walk on this as much as I want, and it's just gonna be fine for me because I'm just, I've got no problems here. There's a common myth that using wood chips like this will rob your soil of nitrogen. And that's, that's actually a myth because so, there's, wood chips are very carbon based and they will take nitrogen to break down. But as they're breaking down, they're constantly releasing nitrogen as well. And the only time that they're actually lose, taking up nitrogen is where there's, go on. The only time that they're taking up nitrogen is at the soil, soil wood chip interface. And like this, you use, you ha you've hardly got any of that. Your comp the compost that I put down is going to be what's feeding these potatoes. Go on. In there. The compost that I put down is going to be feeding this these potatoes. And these wood chips, as they're breaking down, they're going to continue feeding the soil. And then the soil is just going to get better and better every year. See, it's great having a little helper like this. I make the hole, you drop them in. Good boy. Yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I can't work as fast as you can. So reason number five is because of the nature of wood, it absorbs water and it holds onto that water and it releases that water as and when the plants need it. So it's gonna reduce my need to water this bed. I mean, with my wood chip, with my potatoes, once I've planted them, I don't water them all year. I just leave them as they are. So the, this wood chip bed, I don't need to water it. I, if it's really, really dry and it hasn't rained for months and months, then I might give it a water. But in a normal, in a normal year in Britain, I don't need to water this bed once it's done. Because it's soaked up all this water now, and then when it rains again... Here, come on, another one in here. When it rains again, it's just gonna suck up more water. But because as well because of the structure of wood and this texture of wood it's going to let the water flow through so it's not going to soak up and flood and become soggy and it's, the potatoes aren't going to rot in here this is why i think wood wood chips are absolutely amazing Oops. reason number six is because of the fertility that's in this bed i can afford to plant them so much closer because they're not going to compete they're not going to starve each other of uh, they're not going to starve each other of nutrients and they're not going to out-compete each other and they're still going to grow into absolute whoppers. You can see from my other videos the kinds of harvest that I get from, from growing in a bed like this. 
So that brings me on to reason number seven is because of the looseness of these wood chips and because of the structure of these wood chips and because they expand and move as and when they need to. As the potatoes grow, the wood chips are just going to move out of the way and they're going to make space for the potato to grow even bigger. They're not going to apply resistance to the size of the potato and they're just going to give it a nice loose medium to grow in. Do go back and have a look at the harvest that I have from my potatoes. I'll leave a link for it up at the top of this video and you can go and have a look at the type of potatoes that I can get and the size of them just by using this method. I mean, it's, it's absolutely brilliant for a home gardener. You can't go wrong with this. Reason number eight is that a wood chip bed like this will warm up a lot faster than the soil outside. That's why I can get my potatoes into the ground a little bit faster than I would if I was growing in ordinary soil. I'm in the north of England and this gives me a little bit of a head start. It gives me at least two weeks to where I would be if I was just growing in the, in the normal soil. And my soil is heavy clay. So after the winter, winter rains, my soil is still quite sodden in a lot of the beds. I mean, the soil's improved compared to what it used to be when I first got here, but it's still very much heavy clay and it's still taking time to drain. This allows me to get my potatoes in a little bit earlier and get a head start on the season. So that's it, this bed's planted up now. And if you noticed, I've left this edge empty. I've not done anything with this edge. With a bed like this, potatoes take a long time to grow. And now what I've done is I've put my bed, I've put my potatoes on a side that I'm not going to touch and I don't have to touch for best part, the best part of a year now. But I've left this side empty deliberately. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to clean off some of these weeds and I'm going to grow plants that I'm harvesting all the time from here. While they're taking probably six, eight, six months to grow, I'm going to grow fast growing crops that I can be picking from all the time. It lets me just quickly pick like this. That's reason number one, nine why I do the wood chip bed like this. And finally, reason number 10, when it comes to harvest time, you come out with some absolutely whopping massive potatoes and they're really clean. You don't have to do any scrubbing. You don't have to do any of that serious scrubbing, getting the clay off. You just give them a rinse, just give them a rinse in a bucket and they're ready for you to go and chip up and make your nice lovely chips. So that's my 10 reasons on why I like growing potatoes in wood chips the way I do. And if you wanna have a look at some of my harvest, do go back and have a look at some of my harvest. They're absolutely stonking. You'll be very, I guarantee you'll be impressed. And let me just show you before I go one more thing. So standing over this side of the bed, you might have noticed that I've left this side of the bed empty. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my runner bean uh, frame over here and I'm going to plant my runner beans over here and they're going to be fixing nitrogen into the soil and the wood and the potatoes are going to be able to take advantage of that nitrogen and they're going to be, be feeding from that. So that's another thing that I do every couple of years in my crop rotation is I'll move my, my runner beans, and my broad beans and my different beans that I grow, my different legumes I'll move them from one bed to another so they can be fixing nitrogen. I mean, you can grow them in the same place, but why not take advantage of their natural qualities of building nitrogen and building fertility into the soil and move them from one place to another and build your soil fertility. So that's, part, that's another part of my crop rotation method. I'll do a specific video on crop rotation and why I think it's important and the method of crop rotation that I employ. Uh, but, so keep an eye out for that. But there's my potatoes planted and that's the re 10 reasons why I grow my potatoes in wood chips. I'm going to leave it there for this one. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.